Hello there, my beautiful Capricorns, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Capricorn, we are looking into this week of December 20th to the 26th. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and check your other chart placements out on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And returning Capricorns, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. Happy birthday to my Capricorn sons out there. Wishing you a happy, blessed, and abundant birthday season with many, many years to come. I have my December giveaways going on right now where I'm giving away a free reading or $50 cash. All you have to do to enter to win is subscribe to my channel and comment your name in any recent comment section on a recent reading. Please use whatever name you feel most comfortable with using and good luck my beautiful Capricorn. So let's see what's coming through for you for this week for the 20th to the 26th for Capricorn. For this week, what's going on for Capricorn? And we have Eclipse in Gemini. Negotiation, card 27. Rise to challenge as a new path opens. All right, Gemini. Am I calling Gemini? All right, Capricorn. Could have Gemini in your chart somewhere or around you. But you are definitely finding a new path through challenge. So this could be challenge at work, that challenge with friends, challenge with family, challenge with love. But you are rising to the challenge and a new path is opening for compromise here. So let's see what we got going on with your angel. What angel is with my beautiful Capricorns? And we have signs from heaven. Thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. All right, some of you may be seeing a lot of feathers or having dreams of somebody who has passed on. They are absolutely here for you. And they absolutely are aiding in helping you rise to whatever challenge you have felt very challenged by or conflicted by and head down this new path. So let's see what's going on for Capricorn Spirit for this week for Capricorn. All right. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Tower. And we have the Ace of Swords. All right, so definitely coming to a realization here. Clarify this for Capricorn. On the Page of Swords, we have the Two of Cups. On the Tower, we have the Nine of Pentacles. And on the Ace of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. All right, so Capricorn, you are definitely making it right with someone here. I feel like you could also, um, you could be making it right with a lover, a friend, family member, co-workers, whoever you've been having a lot of issues with, whoever you've been feeling like it's very difficult for you two to both get on the same page, it looks like you're going to be pleasantly surprised this week with the compromising energy of this person. So they may have been very withdrawn, very um, stubborn, whatever the case may be, but there is absolutely an energy here of learning from one another and then taking what you two have learned as you to grow in this friendship, relationship, family dynamic, workplace dynamic, whatever the case may be, this is obviously having to do with some another person. And for a lot of you Capricorns, you are absolutely in a position of finding clarity with this person and working on a new path of just having better relationship. I almost feel like the way you two communicated wasn't that great. I feel like the communication, especially with Eclipse and Gemini here, ruler of Mercury communication, I feel like the way y'all communicated was just not good. It caused a lot of tension. It caused, I don't know if like some of you, I don't know. I just feel like the communication has been off in this friendship, this family dynamic, this relationship, or this workplace scenario. I just feel like the communication has been 
off, a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of explaining, a lot of, well, this is what I meant, no, this is what I meant, sort of thing. This week, you're going to find that you and this person get together, get along drastically better. Page of Swords, learning from each other. Ace of Swords, taking what you two have learned and putting it, Page of Pentacles, into action. Some of you may be um, getting, I mean, it is your birthday season. Page of Pentacles for me is like a luck and or a gift. Some of you may be getting gifted something, but it's your birthday season, so I'm not surprised. So let's clarify this for Capricorn once more for this week. On the Two of Cups, we have the Ten of Pentacles. On the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. All right. Yeah, there is definitely a healing here. Three of Swords. And with the Seven of Cups here, it's been very confusing to both of you. How is this going to get better? How are we going to communicate better? How are we going to heal this? How are we going to be stable here? Ten of Pentacles definitely could have to do with a family member or somebody that you share a family with. There is a very large sense of healing with this person. And I think you guys just didn't talk that well nicely to each other. I don't know if there was harsh words said or spoken, but there is an energy of this full-on healing here. Clarify this spirit for Capricorn once more. We have the Nine of Cups. Yep. The Ace of Wands. And the King of Pentacles. Beautiful. You're feeling a lot more stable. So whatever you are or whomever or whatever area of your life that is coming to compromises, you two are feeling better, things are not as tense, things are not as challenging, conflicting, you're definitely sitting in a much happier position now. Nine of Cups, some of you, you have wished for this dynamic to get better with this person, you just feel a lot more stable. You're not as phased. They're not as phased. And you two are a lot more willingly opening to Ace of Wands these ideas of how to make this connection work, how to fix this dynamic at home, how to fix this dynamic at work. Nonetheless, things are definitely getting better for you here, Capricorn. And you are striving forward and you're looking very stable. Some of you, you are actually committing more to your person or your person committing more to you, which is definitely bringing you some sense of wish fulfillment because I do feel like the challenge, if this had to do with love, did cause you two to feel a bit distant from one another. But it looks like that's coming back together and you two are feeling a lot more stable. So I definitely see money coming in for you as well, Capricorn, and or some sort of gift. So it looks like Spirit's got something good coming in for you to start off your birthday season. And you're going to feel really good about it. For a moment, you were uncertain about your growth, your abundance negotiating compromising with this person and things are going to go more or less more in your favor than you thought it would so let's get your romantic love for this week spirit for capricorn sun moon rising venus signs for capricorn and love for this week we have awakening we have lessons mm -hmm. not phased by the past any longer and we have shadow work. Yeah, it's definitely been difficult. I feel like for some of you Capricorns in relationships, you're like, I don't know how we're going to work through this. I don't know. It seems really difficult. It seems really hard. Single Capricorns, you were really struggling with learning lessons from your past. And you are now feeling that awakening. And you're now understanding. And you're now having the clarity. Clarify this again for Capricorn. On Awakening, we have Pride and Ego. 
Yeah, so very prideful on learning these lessons, or if this was conflict conflict with another person, you may have had prideful wall up. They may have had a prideful wall up. Lessons with mirroring. Yup, I'm only gonna say as much as you say. I'm only gonna say as do as much as you do. Shadow work with action. Yeah, taking better action towards one another, taking more respectful action, more genuine action, more considerate action. Clarify this once more for Capricorn. We have pride and ego with divine timing. Mirroring with muse. Yeah, you both still have this wanting to learn from each other sort of thing. Like, we can get better. Things can be good. And we have free will on action. Yeah, kind of coming to the realization that... Learning from one another, being there for one another, being considerate, not having that huge pride and ego sort of energy because of what has happened in this connection. Definitely making you feel that. Honestly, if some of you Capricorns are, if someone's taking action towards you that you are not necessarily that interested in, I definitely see you avoiding that and learning those lessons and kind of just negotiating with yourself. If you are in a connection, I definitely do see you two taking a lot better action towards one another. Not so prideful, not so hurtful, not so harsh, and just a lot nicer, considerate, and entering the new path of just having a better connection with this person. And I didn't really think that you thought you could. I think you two were really challenging one another for quite some time. So that's what I have here for you, Capricorn. Thank you for being here and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. Happy birthday once again. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye now.